Okay, um, in this video, I'm going to look at uh, the Lorentz series uh, for complex numbers. Um, if you are watching this and you haven't seen our series on a uh, series of videos on uh, the Taylor series, we strongly advise that you do so. I'm going to put a link uh, just now so that you can uh, watch through them. Uh, it's going to uh, be relevant as you continue this. All right. So we start by assuming that uh, the function f is analytic in an annular region um, or described as follows here. So this is a region between two concentric circles, radius 1 and radius 2, like we have shown here. So we assume that the function f is uh, um, analytic in uh, this uh, shaded region here okay so then the function can be represented by uh, what is called a Lorentz series which we define below now so uh, the we we know that the Taylor series uh, centered at Z naught um, is uh, given by this expansion here 0 to infinity um, where the constants um, so the constants for the Taylor series uh, are given by the nth order derivative of f at z naught divided by n factorial now so what you're going to notice is that this series here involves only non-negative uh, powers of z minus z naught now um, the Lorentz series extends this to the case where we have got negative uh, powers okay so that means this thing is going to have both positive and negative powers. I'm just going to list a few of the negative powers. So um, if we start with a minus 3 divided by z minus z naught cubed, a minus 2, z minus z naught squared, minus 2 a minus 1 z minus z naught then a naught a1 z minus z naught a2 z minus z naught squared etc so and then this thing is now called the Laurent series so you can see that it's got um, um, negative powers going all the way to infinity positive powers going all the way to infinity the section of this which involves uh, the negative powers is called the singular part or principal part so this is called the principal part of the Lorentz series and then the bit which corresponds to what was Taylor series before this is called the analytic part okay so the p the part with negative powers is called the singular or, or principal part so this is the singular or principal part now the 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 coefficients this time are given by uh, just going to um, bring to your attention um, this is um, Couch's integral um, formula which uh, um, actually um, says that the nth order derivative at z naught divided by n factorial is equal to 1 over 2 pi i times the um, 
contour integral of f of xi minus uh, divided by xi minus z naught to the power n plus 1 dxi. So, for the case of the Laurent series, the constants are defined by this integral here, not in terms of the derivatives of um, uh, f, because in fact, for the Laurent series, um, the derivatives of f may not even exist at z0, because z0 may even be a singularity. So um, we use uh, this definition here. So the coefficients are going to be given by 1 over 2 pi i, uh, the uh, contour integral of uh, f of xi minus xi divided by xi minus z0 to the power n plus 1 dxi. So that is the uh, how we define the coefficients. The other thing, the um, the contour is going to be a uh, a closed contour which is going to be inside uh, um, the, re the region where we say our function is uh, is uh, is analytic. Uh, so let's call this region R. So which would be this region here. Um, so uh, the C is a closed uh, contour in R. Of course, it's going to be traversed in the positive uh, uh, sense. So uh, R could be a contour like that. Uh, so sorry, C could be a contour like that. Of course, it could be just a perfect circle. So this this is the definition then of the uh, Laurent series. Uh, what we're going to do now in summary, um, before we uh, uh, come to the end of this video, we're going to do a comparison of uh, the Laurent series and the Taylor series. So we're going to have the Taylor series this side. We're going to have the Laurent series this side. The first thing we're going to note is that the um, powers of the Taylor series uh, must always be non-negative. So this uh, involves non-negative powers. Um, so these are powers of um, Z minus Z naught. Okay. And for the Lorentz series, there will be negative powers. Okay, so that is uh, the first comparison. Second one, um, the region of convergence of a uh, Taylor series is uh, always going to be a disk, and uh, it cannot contain a singularity, okay, a disk that does not contain a singularity. So if there is a singularity, that usually uh, determines the extent to which the disk can be expanded. Uh, what am I talking about here? So if this is uh, Z0 and there is a singularity here, say Z asterisk, then the Taylor series is going to be convergent in that disk, for instance, or we can make it even bigger, that disk. But as soon as we touch the singularity, then that is the biggest region of convergence that we can have for a Taylor series. Now, um, for the uh, Laurent series, 
So the region of convergence, uh, as we have uh, seen, be, uh, seen above, is going to be an annular region. Um, and uh, this region, uh, which may, I'm going to put contain here in inverted chords which may contain a singularity. Um, what do we mean by this? So um, in the case of the um, Lorentz series, your region could be a region like this, which is called an annulus. And uh, Somewhere in here, you could have a singularity. So obviously that singularity is not part of the shaded region, but it is uh, inside, uh, if you like, uh, that region. Okay, uh, then the next um, comparison um, says the Taylor series cannot be centered uh, at a singular point cannot be centered at a singular point um, a singularity the Lorentz series can be centered at a singularity um, at a singularity and that last one so the fact the Lorentz series uh, will be used to um, classify singularities. Okay. Um, so to uh, determine what type of a singularity we have, we are typically going to use the um, the Laurent series. All right, so that is uh, the uh, an introduction to Laurent series. In the next video, we're going to start looking at how to compute uh, the Laurent series for uh, different functions. Thank you for watching.